Hey folks, Rob with two guys in a ride. Today we're at the Apple uh, Valley Ford, all Ford car show. That's a mouthful. I'm here with Mike and he's got a very, very special car and I'm gonna let him introduce himself to you as well as his car and tell you a little bit about it. Go ahead, Mike. All right, my name is Mike Howell. This is my 78 Mustang uh, mineral handler. There were six, seven of these cars made. The first one was a steel body car. It was a hot rod magazine project. Um, Monroe shocks liked the car. They had six more fiberglass replicas built of it. Um, they showed them around the country for a year and then they gave them away as prizes at racing events. And this one got tucked away somewhere for a long time and it's got 835 miles on it. So, so Monroe Shock Company actually had, they built this or they had Ford build it or they, they sent it out to a... This company here, Carcraft. Okay. Um, it's no longer in existence. Okay. Um, but they only made six. They made six total. And yeah. you say you know where the other five are? Or? Well, I know where four of the five are. Okay. Okay. And one supposedly was destroyed already? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, what, beside, uh, obviously, its exclusivity, what else drew you to this car? Um, actually, I bought it. I was looking for a Cobra too because I had one years ago. Okay. And my oldest daughter loved that car when she was a little kid. Okay. And when she started driving, she decided that we needed to get another car like that. <laughs> so I started searching eBay for one. Okay. And I found this. And I couldn't pass it up. I, I remembered this car as a kid, the model. Kit. Oh, okay. I have the model inside here. Okay. You can see. Um, I talked to the guy and I said, you know, I love your car, but I'm not really in the market and it's a little more money than I have to spend. And right. He's like, well, you know, I wanted to go to a good home, someone will appreciate it. And over the next month we worked out a deal and I went okay. to see it. I should have just brought a trailer. Right. Once I saw it, I went back yeah, and- You, you had to have it. it. Yeah. Now I like I like the styling on it because it is typical of the '70s styling, especially. Well, underneath it is the base Ford Mustang. Yes. But then you've got these uh, grafted-on fiberglass fenders, and then that huge spoiler. And I've got a picture of that. We'll we'll loop that in. But uh, so as you see it here, it, it is it original. Yes. As, as it was designed. Now, what about the paint? Is that original or has it been resprayed? The paint was, was fixed. It was okay. the, the last owner called it. it right. A cosmetic restoration. Okay. The six fiberglass cars were done pretty quickly. Okay. So they kind of slap shotted it when they yeah, made they, it. It was just it like was, an exhibition car. Yeah. And, yeah. They were a good 20 footers, I guess. You right. Could say. Yep. Yep. Exactly. So they had um, some fish eyes and orange peel. In it. Okay. Now, the rear louvers, was that standard on the car as well? Yeah, that's kind of another deal. Of the cars that I know that exist, there are some differences. Okay. Some of them have this hood scoop, some of them don't. Oh, okay. Some of them have side louvers, some of them don't. Okay. But as far as I know, all of them have the, the rear louvers. So some of this Monroe Handler has within, side or yeah, don't? Within those six cars, there are variations. Okay. Some have aluminum centerline wheels, where this has the chrome Kreger wheels. Okay. So if you if you search around on the internet, you'll see different versions. Okay, well that's kind of cool to know because I know a lot of people will will seek this out to find a little bit more information. So if there are a few of those little tweaks different, doesn't mean that it's not original. Right, it just not means that they took liberty when they built it. Maybe it's yeah. what they had in stock at the time. I, I really don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows, right? And actually, if you search uh, mineral analysis. Uh, the car that shows up the most is one that was built with a, what they call a Dave Kent kit. He was the one that designed the, the, the uh, fiberglass kit. Okay. And they also sold some of the kits and uh, so that people could build their own. Okay. But the one that you see the most has a T-top and side pipes. Okay. And that was built with one of those kits, but it is not one of the original cars. Okay. Now, what the uh, what's the power plant in this car? This is um, it's a 302. Okay. It's got a four barrel. Okay. Um, Automatic or stick? No, it's a four speed. Four speed. Okay. Okay. Yeah, of those six cars, they were consecutive cars off the assembly line. Okay. Um, so they were born just regular yep, Mustangs, white, white and then they just VA pulled them hatchback. right off and sent them to the to Carcraft. Yep. Okay. Yeah, they're, uh, they were white V8 hatchback, no radio, no air conditioning. Okay. Um, 
I actually have the build sheet from all six of them. Really? Mine is the fifth of the six builds. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah it's kind of interesting. So does it, but it still has a regular Ford VIN number. Yep. But it's just that you knew that those VIN numbers were, that this is yeah. one of the original Monroe handling. Yeah, I met handlers. a guy in Detroit that has all the Mustang okay. two build sheets. Okay. He looked into it for me and he's like, yep, there, there they are. There's six cars, consecutive serial numbers. Got it. So yeah, uh, it's kind of neat to find that. That and I have uh, I have the title from the original Marketing Corporation of America. So Mission what title. what number ownership are you in the life of this car? Um, at least third. Okay. Now you're telling me what are you what are your immediate plans for this car? Well, this summer I'm going to take it to Okay. St. Louis. Okay. And from there I'm going to take it to North Carolina. Okay, to North Carolina to the to the Mustang Motors Museum. Awesome. Okay, and it's going to sit there for a couple of years. From there, I'll we'll bring it back. Hopefully, I'll have a big heated building by then. Okay, so put, and then put it back out on the circuit here. And you're telling me how many miles again? 835. Okay, and we were. I was asking him earlier, folks, if that 835 miles, how many of those were driven versus how many he's pushed it on and off the trailer. Yeah. He wasn't quite sure, but I'm, I would imagine quite a significant amount because this is something you really don't want to put a lot of miles on. This is something that, that's going to do fantastic, I believe, in that museum. I know a lot of people appreciate getting to know yeah. this car. And, you know, Mike, thank you. This is a 1978 Ford Mustang. It is the uh, special version from Monroe Shock Company, Monroe Handler, and it's uh, it's fantastic. I love it. Love the colors, Monroe colors, blue and yellow, and it's it's a really cool car. Mike, thank you so much. Thank Thanks you. for sharing it. Yeah, we appreciate it.